Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I want to be teaching you how to download and install Fabric Mods. That's downloading the Fabric Mod Loader, which we have here, all the way to getting mods like Roughly Enough Items. It's all going to be covered in this video. We're going to go over every single step of Fabric Mods. But first, we have Mr. Mars sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown. .xyz slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server. And if you want to play Fabric Mods with your friends, you can start a Fabric server at Apex in just a few clicks. We love just them so much that we host our own server. Play our breakdowncraft.com on them. So check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown. .xyz slash Apex to get your very own server up and running on Fabric or not on Fabric. It's up to you if you want to host a vanilla server, a Fabric server, or a server with plugins, it's all possible at Apex. The breakdown to XYZ slash Apex, first link down below. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get the fabric mod loader. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is going to go over every single step of how to download and install a fabric mod loader. We're going to be going over all that in this video as well, but if you do have any questions, want to go through it at your own pace, you can do so with this tutorial. Once you're here, go ahead and click on the download fabric button, and that will take us to fabric's download page. Once we're on this page, we want to click on the download universal jar. If you're wondering why we're not downloading for Windows. It's because if you download the jar file, you're going to make sure that you have Java installed correctly and all that stuff that's needed for installing mods. It's it's much, much better to download Universal Jar. So let's go ahead and click on the Download Universal Jar there. We click on that in the bottom left. The Fabric Installer will start downloading on Google Chrome. You may need to keep it in the bottom left. However, if you're on Mozilla Firefox, it may need to be saved in the center of your screen. So bottom left of Google Chrome, click Keep on the center of your screen, on Mozilla Firefox, click save. It's 100% safe to keep or save the Fabric Mod Loader. From there, let's go ahead and download some Fabric Mods real quick. The Fabric API is a basically API mod created by the developers of Fabric that's needed for a lot of Fabric Mods. This is the third link down below, and when you click on that link, it's going to take you here. This is how to install this mod, but once you're here, just go ahead and click on the yellow Download Fabric API button. That'll take you to Fabric's official download page, where you want to come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down until you see the Minecraft 1.18 section. Under that, you have the 1.18.1 Fabric API. Click on the orange download button right of that to begin the download. Just like the Fabric Mod Loader itself, you'll need to keep or save the file in the bottom left. So keep in the bottom left of Google Chrome, save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now we're not done yet, we still need to download another Fabric Mod, and that's going to be Roughly Enough Items. Just like everything, this is linked in the description down below, and when you're here, scroll down and click on the Download Roughly Enough Items button. That'll take us to the official Roughly Enough Items download page, where again, come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down to Minecraft 1.18, and click on the orange download button to the right of that to begin the download. You guessed it, you're going to need to keep or save this file depending on your browser as well. However, one of the downsides of Roughly Enough Items is it requires two API mods also linked in the description. Cloth Config API, which is found here, go down to the right-hand side, you know the drill at this point, I'm going to stop repeating myself, and Architecture API is also needed for Roughly Enough Items. Now, the only thing you're going to need for every Fabric mod out there is two things. That is going to be the Fabric API and the Fabric Mod Loader. If you've got those two things, you can install most other Fabric mods mods. However, some mods, like Roughly Enough Items, do require other APIs. And that's why I wanted to cover that here because a lot of these mods do require other APIs and you have to look in their mod page and figure out what those are. Nevertheless, though, let's go ahead and get these to our desktop. They're going to be found in our Downloads folder. So click the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen or in the center of your screen on Windows 11. And yes, this will work on Windows 11. Go ahead and type in Downloads. Have this Downloads file folder here. Open that up. And in here, we have the Fabric API, the Fabric Installer, Roughly Enough Items, and both of the Koloth Config and Architecture APIs required for roughly enough items. Let's go ahead and drag and drop all of these to our desktop just for ease of use, and I'm going to sort them out. We want the Fabric Installer kind of over here, and then we want all of our mods on one side. That's because basically part one and part two. Part one is installing Fabric Installer, and part two is installing your mods. By the way, if these files look different than mine, right, they don't look like these JAR Java logos, that's okay. I'm going to show you how to fix that. If they look like WinRAR files, anything but this, I'm going to show you how to fix it. Just keep watching. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and right-click on the Fabric Installer first and see if we can open it. To do that, you want to right-click on it like I just did. Click on Open With. Click on Java, and if you don't have Java, keep watching, we're going to fix it. And if you do, click on OK. Now, for a lot of you that had Java, this will work. But if it doesn't, and you still, and you had Java, that's because you don't have the correct version of Java. And guess what? Every issue that I've mentioned so far is fixed by getting that correct version of Java. If your logos are broken, you need Java. If your open with, right, doesn't have Java here, you need Java. And if you click OK, and it doesn't work, you need Java. So what we need to do is go to the description down below and download Java 17. This is our in-depth guide on downloading and installing Java 17 for Minecraft, making sure everything works. 
all of that stuff. And then once you've got Java 17, you may need to run the jar fix. And this is going to take all those jar files you downloaded and link them back to Java, making them work properly together. It's a really, truly amazing program. Also three steps to install and, and run. It's super simple. And once you've finally done that, you've downloaded Java, you've ran the jar fix, your icons will be correct and you'll be able to right click on the Fabric installer, click on open with, click on Java and click OK. And if you do still have issues, it's because you need to go uninstall an older version of Java. To do that, just go to the programs and features, right? So if you type in programs, or sorry, it's actually apps and features. Look at me messing things up. Apps and features. Go in here and find Java. The only version of Java that you want is this one, Java 17. If it says 17 there, you're good. Uninstall all the other versions. Nevertheless, we've got the Fabric installer open here. Let's go ahead and make sure 1.18.1 .1 is selected and click on install. So you're going to go through, immediately say done, and say the Fabric loader has installed. If this doesn't work, it's because you need to go play Minecraft 1.18.1, vanilla with no mods or anything, go play that, come back, and it will successfully install in the launcher. You will have to restart the launcher by closing out of it and then opening it with Java again, right? But after that, clicking install will work right like so. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and install these mods. You can delete the Fabric installer, but make sure you still have the Fabric API. As well as my desktop's all messed up. Make sure you still have the Fabric API. So, we're going to install these mods. Every single Fabric mod is installed the exact same way, whether it is the Fabric API, whether it's roughly enough mod items or the thousand APIs it requires, or whether it's something like, like Matica or the Replay mod. They're all installed in this exact same way. To do this, you want to click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, but click on that little Windows icon in the top of bottom left, and then type in Run. You'll have this Run app here. Go ahead and click on that to open up the Run app. And then in this app, you want to type percent sign, app data percent sign. So percent app data percent exactly like that and click OK. That's going to open up your roaming folder and in this folder you'll have a dot minecraft folder. Open that up and in here you'll have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. Hmm, I don't have a mods folder either. So what we need to do is go ahead and right click over here, create a new folder and then title this folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Once we've got this mods folder created, we can go ahead and open it up and then any minecraft fabric mod you want to install is just dragged and dropped into this mods folder. The only only reason that you would drag and drop a mod in here and it wouldn't work is because it's not compatible with 1.18.1 .1 fabric. So you want to make sure you're downloading the 1.18.1 .1 version of these mods. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and close out of this mods folder and we need to open up the Minecraft launcher. Now don't go ahead and slap the play button right away. You need to make sure you're opening up the correct version of Minecraft. Specifically, you want to make sure you're opening up your fabric installation. Now for me, it's automatically selected right here it is. And if you don't see it here, click on this little arrow to the left of the play button to open this up and you will see in here the fabric loader. Click on that, click play, and click play again. However, by the way, click play again, I mean click play here. Nevertheless, what if you don't have the fabric loader here or it's not fabric loader 1.18.1, .1, it's a different version. Well, to fix that, what we want to do is go to the installations tab. I'm going to clean this up really fast. There we go, a lot cleaner. And now we want to make sure modded is checked in the top right. As you can see, I unchecked it and uh, it just disappeared. Fabric disappeared. Click on modded and there it is again. Once you've got it, click on play, click on play again. Now, if you still don't have the fabric loader here, what you want to do is go on the new install installation button. You can name this whatever you want, but I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that is our Minecraft 1.18 survival and skyblock server. You should come play on it. Absolutely incredible. But once you've got that name in there, go ahead and click on the version drop down box. And here you then want to select release fabric loader 1.18.1. .1. For me, it's right up here at the top. Yours may be at the very, very bottom, depending on basically your Minecraft and how things work. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on release fabric loader there. And then you're pretty much good to go. You can click create. I'm going to change the resolution so we can see once we get in game, but you don't have to do that. Click create in the bottom right once of release fabric 1.18.1 .1 is selected under version. Nevertheless, we now have this play.breakdowncraft.com profile that most importantly says fabric loader and then 1.18.1 .1 at the end. That means it's correct. Hover over it, click play. Like I said, click play again, just confirming you're playing mod in Minecraft. And now Minecraft 1.18.1 .1 is going to open up with the fabric mod loader and your fabric mods installed. Now, one of the downsides about fabric mods is that there's no mods button, mod like way to open up a mods tab in Minecraft once you open it up. But we will jump in to play.breakdowncraft.com and you'll be able to see that Roughly Enough Items is in fact activated, even if uh, you know we can't verify Fabric API. I promise it's there, but we can't verify it, so 
yeah. Nevertheless, we're just going to go ahead. I'll do a quick jump cut to the Minecraft main menu. And then I'll... Oh, nope. I'm not going to do a quick jump cut because here we are in the Minecraft main menu. I do have the Clarity resource pack installed. Pretty cool stuff. You can also see that there are fabric mod resources. That's actually a good thing to test. You know, you can go to resources. That's not always going to be there, by the way. So if it's not there for you, don't worry. It will always say fabric in the bottom left of the Minecraft main menu. Now, like I said, we can jump on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. And then uh, once we're in game here, we will be able to hit E and there it is. There is is roughly enough items, which is basically just, just enough items for fabric, right? So we can go in here, let's say we want to see how to make this, and there you go. You can also click on this plus. The reason it says multiple errors there is because one, we don't have the materials, and two, a lot of servers, including Breakdown Craft, have issues with uh, using this. It just won't work, but it will work in single player 100% of the time. Nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. Enjoy your fabric mods, and I'm out. Peace.